before there was time, there was Ea. But Ea decided to create, so she created light and subsequently life. Lakotas were very mobile societies. They followed the buffalo herds all across this continent, always replenishing the earth. We lived in paradise. And then came the white man, the European. Settlement of the land was violently resisted by the hostile Indians. It now became the task of the hard riding and hard fighting cavalry to make the westward creeping frontiers secure. There's a man with massive destruction and no compassion in his heart that can kill off millions of buffaloes like that. He sure can kill the Indians too. They massacred over 300 men, women, and children. The baby's heads were smashed to save bullets. So they forced the Indian on the reservation because he, he was a starving Indian. In the center of the hub of the circle of this native nation in North America is the Lakota Sioux. Pine Ridge is an icon. A lot of things have happened here. We were always the one that fighting for some survival. This entire reservation is a prisoner of war camp and we're treated as such. I live in fifth world conditions here in America. Lifespan expectancy, 45 years of age. Starve them to death. Highest alcoholism rate. Disease them to death. The alcoholism, the disease, the drug addiction. It's everywhere. We on Pine Ridge know the impact, 80% unemployment. More and more land slips out of the reservation. What you see there at Pine Ridge, half of which gone. We made a treaty nation to nation, not government to government. All these tribe sovereignty is constantly in jeopardy. They're trying to make us white men. We don't know how to be a white man. Everything is set up to exterminate us. Uh -uh. They sterilized me when I was 11 years old. They found my younger brother and my cousin brutally murdered. It's rough to be an Indian. There's 16 of us that live here in a two-bedroom trailer house and a teepee. And we're really homeless. We got shot at many times. <laughs> They fired right at our house. But see the tracers go right through the wall. Good in the under the dead one. <laughs> Don't be a statistic. Don't be an unheard story. Be somebody that will leave a legacy. No matter how tough it is, you don't give in. And if you're going to fight for the rights of the children and elders, you need to give of yourself to them, not take. Of all the people, thank you, God. Thank you for making me an Indian. At the end of seven generations, we'll be gone. This country committed genocide on us, continuing up to this day. I think that's about all I can say. Some sweating now.